and the new. So this is what we have so far, our presentation. I'll just put in slideshow mode, which is basically click that or press F5 on your computer, or you go to the top and you click slideshow and then you click um, play from Slack. When mostly um, recording my presentations, I just use record slideshow, but we're not gonna record this, let's just play. So this is the presentation we have so far. I'll just press my keyboard um, to go to the next, 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 next. Oh, there's a blank side and that, 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 and this. This is slides we've created so far. So far there is no animation going on. So let's say if we have this slide, and we want the items to show one by one, we can just come out to the slide that we want to animate a little bit. And we will just select the content we want to animate first. So I'll just go back to my menu and I'll click animations. And the first one, I'll just, you just choose different animations that you want. You notice you've got sort of the basic from basic to exciting, right? So the basic ones, are fancy, they are good. Um, and of course, you've got a bit of subtle, moderate, and it gets really exciting. You don't want to use too much exciting um, animations because too much of it sometimes can get in the way. But where you want to really attract attention, then you can actually go on to use, but just don't use too much of it. So basically we just want each of these to appear. I'll just choose something basic. So I click appear. Notice there's a number next to it in this particular case. Let me zoom in. Number one to show you is what's going to appear first, or oh, that's what's been animated first. Then I'll go for two. Same for the others. Maybe I zoomed in too much. It looks like I animated the same thing twice, yeah. So it's just repetitive, right? So all I've done is I highlight the text, I click animation, and I just, I'm just choosing up here. You can choose different ones. On the right-hand corner, you see that play from has shown. So you can actually do some editing on there. You can say um, some effect. You can change the timing. In my case, it's gonna be on click, which means that each time I click my slide, it should, um, the next animation should come, or we can say change with previous or something or after a set specific time. I don't normally go with a timing once because most of my presentation I'm there and I'm giving it. So I'm gonna, I want a bit more control. Um, some people want it timed, but I think that would be a bit strange because you'd be talking and the animation can change. So let's see how it looks like now. So now you notice there's nothing. And then the first one appears, second one appears, third one, and then so on. Good, so we've added some animation on your presentation. You can choose to add a bit more animations. We want to add some transitions um, between our slides because so far what all we have, we've got this. Maybe I can just do some more. Um, some more animations, but you don't want too much animation as well. But we want some transition between the slides as well. So we just go here, then we select transition, maybe first slide, we don't really need a transition. We click the second slide, maybe we just want to, we select transition, we want to morph it in. Again, remember, you don't want something too fancy. So imagine if like, maybe sometimes it works for you, but if I click the crash, for example, and we are presenting, it's just a bit, I think it's a bit too much. Sometimes maybe it works for you, but to me, I think it's a bit too much. 
So I'll just go for maybe something um, simple. Yes, I do. Definitely not a crash. Let's go with morph. Um, maybe fade. I'm just gonna pick some random um, transitions, sharp, swipe. I think I can get rid of this slide. Let me move it down, click, move down, and I'll move this one up, click, move up. Then I have a split, maybe cut, uh, random buzzes. So, and maybe peel off. So hopefully we will be happy with what we have now, which is slideshow, first slide, second slide fading in, some animations. And yes, we can add sound to these animations. Another fade in, slide up, <coughs> fade in. I think that was slide to the left. And again, then finally to this slide. Can I double check with you? Are you happy up to this point? <laughs>